everyone. Welcome to the National Civil War Museum here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I'm Chris White with the American Battlefield Trust. We have Andy behind the camera, and we are here at the invitation of the National Civil War Museum here in Harrisburg, and it's a fantastic facility not too far from Gettysburg. So if you're coming through Pennsylvania, stop by the state capitol and check out this facility, which will be soon celebrating its 25th anniversary. And we want to thank them for opening up their collection to us. And a portion of their collection is paperwork that they have here. We've seen some other paperwork on another video. Check that out. But these laying out on this table are commissions for union officers. Specifically, these are what are gonna give them their ranks. And this first one that you see here is for Alexander Schimmelfennig. He is a Pennsylvania general, though he is born over in Germany, comes here to the United States, commands the 74th Pennsylvania, becomes a brigade commander and a temporary division commander in the 11th Corps. Famously, during the Battle of Gettysburg, he is gonna hide out in Anna Garlick's pigsty. During the battle, he gets cut off during the retreat on July 1st of 1863. But what is interesting is this is his general's commission, and this is at the behest of the President of the United States. And it'll tell you, this is Alexander Schimmelfinnig. He's became a Brigadier General of Volunteers, and it will give you all of his dates, his ranks, and everything there. And to make it even better, this piece of paper was signed by the Secretary of War at the time, Edwin Stanton, as well as Abraham Lincoln. Moving from Schimmelfinnig, we're gonna move up to Devil Dan Sickles. And this is Dan Sickles of Gettysburg fame as well. This is his Brigadier General Commission. He became a Brigade Commander of New York Regiments at the outset of the war. He'll go on to become the 3rd Corps Commander at the Battle of Chancellorsville and Gettysburg. And this is his General's Commission, signed again by Abraham Lincoln and Edwin Stanton. So this is Dan Sickles, Brigadier General's Commission. When he moves up to Major General, he would get his commission that would indicate that he was a Major General. Moving down the table, this is the highest ranking officer in the United States Army to be killed during the Civil War, and this is Major General John Sedgwick. By the date of rank, he became a general officer before James Birdsey McPherson and some others. But even though he's a corps commander, this is going to be his commission. John Sedgwick, Major General of Volunteers, 4th of July, 1862. And just to explain how you would figure out how a bunch of major generals would outrank one another, it goes by the date of rank. So since he was commissioned on July 4th, anyone who was commissioned on July 5th, 6th, 7th at Major General, he outranks them. It always comes by that date. So this is a really, really cool piece. Moving into another era of the United States Army, we have two commissions uh, for an officer very famous from Gettysburg to John Buford. This is John Buford's original first lieutenant's commission when he was with the, the United States Dragoons. You can see his name here, John Buford, first lieutenant of the Regiment of Dragoons, and this will give him his commission as a first lieutenant. This one, though, was signed by the Secretary of War, Jefferson Davis, yes, the future President of the Confederacy when he was the Secretary of War of the United States, and over here, President Franklin Pierce. This commission was given to him as a Major General as he's nearing death in December of 1863. So this is basically his deathbed commission, making him a Major General. This one is signed by President Lincoln as well as Secretary of War Stanton. Buford dies in December of 1863 after being made famous for his actions at Gettysburg as well as other battlefields, but he's probably most noted for that action. This ornate commission is not a federal commission, meaning this is the United States Army over here. This will be a state militia, and this is for Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain of Maine, and this is his major general commission when he is in the state militia of Maine. So you can see up here we have the state of Maine, and we have the seal over here with this ornate tasseling that comes with it, and it tells us that Joshua L. Chamberlain uh, Brunswick. He has now become a major general, and boy, they put it right there in bold, um, of the state of Maine's militia. So it's all signed by the Secretary of State of Maine. And even on the back, here it'll tell you the state of Maine is making General Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain a major general. And this is dated in June of 1872. So this will be taking place after the American Civil War. These are uh, absolutely prized pieces of these officers. This is 
giving them the full rights and ranks and privileges of these men of their rank. These are really, really prized possessions, especially when you tie them to men like Dan Sickles, John Buford, John Sedgwick, and of course, Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain. This is just a portion of the collection here at the National Civil War Museum in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We encourage you to check this place out. Go over to their website and of course, visit here in person the next time you're in the Gettysburg or Central Pennsylvania area. Hello, this is Trace Atkins. To stay up to date on all the latest and coolest videos, please subscribe to the Trust's YouTube channel. Preserve. Educate. Inspire.